Keynote makes it easy to add professional looking motion effects to your slideshows. Make objects on your slide move, grow, fade out, and more. First, select the text box you want to animate in the presentation. Open the inspector and then click on the yellow build icon. Make sure that the build in tab is selected. Next, select the effect pop up menu to determine how you want your text to appear on your slide. We'll choose move in. Instead of having the text appear all at once, we'll choose by bullet so that each line appears on the slide one at a time. You can make objects move off the screen just as easily. Click the build out tab under the effect menu and choose blast. Click the play button to preview your work so far. You can create more complex builds too. Next, we'll intersperse each section of a pie chart to its corresponding bullet point. Select this box to separate out the timing for each bullet point. Notice that the Build Inspector drawer window automatically opens to reveal more details about this build. Next, select the chart and select a build effect for it. Choose the effect Grow and the delivery to be By Wedge. Then select the checkbox to separate out the timing of each wedge. In the Build Options drawer, notice that the builds have been listed in the order they were created, but you can reorder them by dragging them up or down in the list. Let's drag the build of each pie wedge immediately after the build of each bullet point. This way, the bullet points will correspond with each wedge of the pie chart as it grows. The next step is to connect the wedge builds so they happen immediately after each text build, instead of waiting for a click. Command click each wedge, and in the Start Build pop up menu, choose Automatically after prior build. To play the slideshow, click on the Play button. You'll see how each bullet point corresponds to the wedge that is being built in the presentation. Keynote gives you lots of tools and options that make it easy to create dynamic presentations.